Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Maggie. And today's video is going to be all about how to create your own uh, capsule wardrobe, fall and winter edition. So if you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, basically it's a bunch of basic pieces that can last you a really long time. You can mix and match with some of the other basic pieces that you have to create a bunch of different outfits for each particular season. Like I said, this is going to be more fall and winter focused. If you guys want me to do a more summer and spring capsule wardrobe, I can obviously do that for you guys too. But since we are in fall and winter, I figured it would be best to do a fall and winter capsule wardrobe. So how this video is going to pan out is that I'm going to start with each each layer so I'm gonna do like the first layer so it's gonna be like t-shirts tank tops and then I'm gonna go into more sweaters and then outerwear I'm obviously gonna be doing pants bottoms so yeah if you're interested in seeing <laughs> So yeah, if you like this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button the notification bell and yeah Let's just jump right into it Starting off with the first layer, we have tank tops. Tank tops in the fall are perfect pieces to keep you cool when you want to take off some layers during that awkward cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon type of days. And they are perfect in the winter when you need to add some layers when it starts to feel like Antarctica outside. The first tank top I'm wearing is from Style Addict, and they honestly have some of the best basics to go around, and the quality is absolutely amazing. I wear this top year-round. Um, I wear it just as is or as an undershirt for the colder months. These next two tank tops are actually bodysuits, and yes, you guessed it, they are the iconic Zara halterneck bodysuit. I find myself grabbing for these 24-7. The cut of this top is so flattering and the material feels like butter. They can be dressed down for a casual look when running errands or dressed up for a cute date night. To keep warm, layer it with a denim jacket or a knit sweater. Having a white and black option is a must when giving yourself options to style different outfits with a capsule wardrobe. So throughout the video, you will see that the color scheme is very neutral and basic. They're colors that can go with anything and everything. For example, majority of the colors that you're going to see are white, black, blue, beige, and creams. And I feel like that's key when creating a capsule wardrobe. Next up, we are moving on to t-shirts. So here I'm wearing a t-shirt that is actually a bodysuit from a brand called Shop Rumors. Sometimes I prefer a bodysuit when it's in the form of a t-shirt because it makes tucking it into bottoms so much easier. And again, I have it in a black option and a white option. Having a basic black and white t-shirt in your closet makes it easy to put together a quick outfit when you don't know what to wear. Grab some mom jeans, tuck in a tee, and elevate the look with some accessories, which is you know a cute bag, some shoes, and you're good to go. An outfit that looks like so much time and effort was put into it, but in reality, it took maybe five minutes to put together. That's the beauty of a capsule wardrobe. It's effortless, yet still cute and chic. I love a good oversized white cotton tee as well. This one is from Jerf Avenue, and it has been a staple in my wardrobe since I got it at the beginning of this summer. You can wear it as a cover-up to the beach in the summertime, layer a blazer over it with some jeans, and it makes for a cool fall look, or toss a sweatshirt over it and keep it all cozy. Having a good white cotton tee is essential for styling multiple different outfits in any season. Next up when creating your go-to capsule wardrobe is having a good button-down t-shirt. For a capsule collection, I personally feel like the staple button-down shirt to have is white, but I also have a blue and white striped one as well. Both of these tops I grab for all the time. The white one I have is from Truckle Clothing, and it's honestly one of my go-to shirts to grab when I don't know what to wear but still want to look cute. The blue one is from Jerf Avenue. Love the oversized fit of this, and there's so many ways to style these tops. You'll see how I style it throughout the video but my favorite way to style it is either by itself or layering a chunky knit on top and have the collar pop out and that's a huge trend we're seeing for this fall and winter. Moving on to long sleeve shirts and sweaters, this tannish beige ribbed long sleeve top is from a brand called Nadam and it's the perfect rib material. I love this as a layering piece especially in the colder months and the neutral color can go with any outfit. This next long sleeve top is from Zara and it's definitely a thicker rib material. As you can see, it's again another neutral color so you can mix and match it with a bunch of other items in your closet to make multiple outfits. It's another great piece to have for layering in the winter as well. So this is probably my favorite cardigan that I have in my wardrobe to date, and I bought it last year from Drift Avenue. It was my go-to cardigan all last winter, and I have no doubt I will be grabbing it all the time this winter as well. 
The color is this perfect beigey gray color and I love the material. It's super warm and cozy. You can wear it open with a tank top underneath or alone buttoned up and it's the perfect crop length for my liking. I grab it so often that I had to include it in this capsule wardrobe video. Now moving on to the chunky knits. So in a capsule collection, I think having a cream chunky knit and a black chunky knit are the two staples to have. They are both neutral colors that can go with anything and everything. And obviously chunky knits are everyone's go-tos in the winter time. I've paired both of these knits with some light blue jeans and my Prada loafers. Here is a great example of how I would layer my white button down uh, shirt under a chunky knit. It's super cozy and cute and took no effort to put together. As you can see, my personal capsule wardrobe is mostly neutrals, whites, and blacks with some pops of blue. If there are other colors you love, of course you can add them into your capsule wardrobe, but for me personally, I find myself being able to create multiple different outfits when I stick to a neutral color scheme. Now let's talk about what bottoms I think are great to have in your fall and winter capsule wardrobe. First, let's talk denim. Here are four colors of denim I think make a perfect capsule wardrobe. Light wash blue, a dark wash blue, beige, and black. So I prefer my style of denim to be a mom jean style, but if you prefer a skinny jean, go with the skinny jean. If you prefer a boot cut, go with the boot cut. Find a fit of denim that works well for your body type and choose the colors you want around that. Light wash denim is perfect for all casual wear and I like having a darker wash if I want to darken up an outfit or make it look more polished. Beige is perfect and a go-to for creating all neutral looks and of course black is essential in any wardrobe in any season. I personally think these are all great jeans to have when creating outfits in your capsule wardrobe. All of my go-to jeans are usually from Levi's or Zara. Okay, now moving on to trousers. You guys, I love trousers. The three colors of trousers that I have and that I always are grabbing for are camel, gray, and black. Not only are they super trendy right now, but they are great pieces to have if you want to put together a casual outfit, a business casual outfit, business professional, even fancy. They are so versatile and can be styled so many different ways that they obviously had to be included when creating a capsule wardrobe. The camel and gray pants are both from Zara and the black pants are from Naked Fashion. I will have everything linked down in the description box below. These next two pieces I feel like are staples in any wardrobe and that is a black skirt and a black dress. This skirt is from Truckle Clothing and I absolutely love it. It's so versatile and I love the slit that goes up the thigh because I think it elevates a basic black skirt. I styled it here with the white t-shirt bodysuit you saw before and my go-to cardigan again from Drift Ave. You can obviously wear a black skirt year round, um, but one way I like to keep my legs warm when wearing a skirt in the fall and winter time is styling it with some sheer black tights. And of course, any wardrobe needs a little black dress and I love this sweater knit dress from the brand RUMI. I love that it's a turtleneck in the front and then in the back it's all open which I think makes it a little bit sexy. I styled this dress with my knee high black boots from Massiel and I love how the look turned out. This is the perfect black dress to wear on a date night or going out with the girls. I just think it's a staple to have in your wardrobe. Now we're moving on to outerwear that I think you need in your closet when building a capsule wardrobe. The first one is an oversized denim jacket. This is a vintage Levi's denim jacket from a brand on Instagram called Shop Rebel Flow. I think the best denim jackets you can find are the ones that you find in thrift stores and that you find vintage. I don't know about you, but I just think that there's so much character when you find a denim jacket that's vintage. Denim jackets honestly go with everything and are the perfect in-between jacket in the fall time when it's cold in the morning but still gets warm in the afternoon. You can layer it over a chunky knit to keep yourself warm but then obviously take it off if it gets too hot during the day. I styled this look with the oversized white cotton tee from Jerf Ave, my beige Levi's, and some white boots. Next up, we have my personal favorite, which are leather jackets. So I have two that I think are staples and that I'm always grabbing for in my closet. One is an oversized leather jacket and then one is a more fitted cropped leather jacket. You obviously don't have to have both, but I definitely recommend having at least one of these in your wardrobe. I like having an oversized option because I just like a lot of my clothes fitting oversized, but I also like having a cropped, more fitted jacket when I want to have um, a more polished look. For this look here, I styled my fitted leather jacket with my light wash jeans, some Doc Martens, and my fitted black t-shirt that you saw before, and I think it's the perfect fall look. 
For a more warmer look, I decided to swap out the t-shirt with a chunky black knit, and for shoes, I switched the Doc Martens out for loafers. The oversized leather jacket I got from ASOS, and the crop leather jacket is from Zara. Again, it will be linked in the description box below. Just kidding, I think these next jackets are my favorite. So let's talk blazers. Blazers can literally be styled in every direction. Casual, fancy, trendy, street style, business casual, the list can go on and on. The two blazers I reach for the most when styling outfits in my capsule wardrobe is a black blazer and a faux leather blazer. I like my blazers fitting more oversized, so I normally size up two sizes. Even with what I'm wearing right now, the blazer totally elevates the look, and I'm literally just wearing a ribbed long sleeve t-shirt and some Levi jeans. Blazers make any outfit look way cooler than it really is, and I absolutely love that. Okay, now we're moving on to trench coats and long wool coats. So trench coats have been a huge trend for fall 2020, and we've seen that they can be styled in so many different ways. You could be super casual by layering a trench coat over a matching sweat set. You can wear it over your sweater and jeans. You can layer it over an all black outfit. There's so many ways to style a trench coat. I decided to style my look somewhat tonal by pairing it with my ribbed long sleeve tan shirt that you saw before and my black jeans. For shoes, I just paired it with my black loafers from Prada um, and these have honestly been a huge staple in my fall wardrobe. I've been wearing them every single day since I got them. And yeah, a trench coat is just a really good coat to have in that weird in-between season in the fall time. Now on to the wool jackets. So in my opinion, having a long wool jacket is a staple in your winter capsule wardrobe. Not only do they keep you warm, but you also look really chic and put together with a nice long jacket over your outfit. I have a camel color jacket from Nasty Gal, a gray jacket from Shopo, and I just invested in a black one from Zara, but it's not shown in this video. For my first look, I wanted to keep the outfit super tonal and match my pants to the jacket. These are the camel color trousers that you saw before from Zara. I also wore my cream knit that you saw before as well. For shoes and accessories, I'm wearing my Prada loafers and my Bottega Veneta dupe. I love how this outfit looks. I would totally wear this to brunch. I would wear this running errands. It's so casual and so put together. I styled my gray wool coat by keeping the outfit light and casual, so I paired it with my white button-down shirt that you saw before, my light wash denim, and my gray New Balances. For my bag, I styled it with my gray canvas Prada tote, which I think keeps it more tonal and casual. Creating a capsule wardrobe is all about picking basic pieces that you can elevate. There are so many benefits to having a capsule wardrobe and it honestly makes your life so much easier in the long run when you need to style some outfits. Okay guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys learned something. I'm gonna have everything that I wore linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Yeah, let me know if you wanna see a spring, summer version of this video. Obviously pieces that you wear in spring and summer are completely different from the pieces that you wear in fall and winter. So yeah, it was really fun to create. I love creating style videos like this and I think it's super helpful for you guys, especially when you're trying to create your wardrobe from scratch to make sure you have all the right basic pieces. So I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video.